At CyberArk, we believe the key to defending your infrastructure is to protect privileged accounts. The accounts that are the keys to the kingdom. A privileged account is any account that has the capability to change or impact the operational service of a business process. And they exist everywhere on all workstations and servers, in apps and DevOps pipelines, across hybrid and multi-cloud environments. At least 80% of breaches involve compromised privileged credentials. The reason the attackers go after the privileged credentials is because those credentials provide attackers with access to the most valuable systems and assets. Chances are, you are already familiar with CyberArk's Privileged Access Manager solution, or PAM for short. Over 7,000 companies in over 110 countries use CyberArk PAM to secure privileged access in their organization. CyberArk PAM provides a vault where you can securely store and manage all privileged credentials to control which users have access to these accounts and monitor their activities. But the problem with having numerous accounts with standing privileged access is that they increase the risk of breach even when managed by a powerful solution like CyberArk PAM. By reducing the number of privileged accounts in your organization, you can reduce the risk of standing privilege access. To help you reduce the risk of standing privilege access and make the process of granting privileged access to authorized users more efficient and secure, we have developed the Dynamic Privileged Access Service, or DPA for short. By implementing DPA in your organization, your users can connect to the relevant asset using the client of their choice with the right access and for the required length of time. All of this while significantly reducing the number of privileged accounts you need to vault and manage. The idea is to divide all privileged accounts that are used by human actors into two groups. The first group is the built-in system accounts that are an inherent part of any system, such as the Linux root and Windows admin accounts. These accounts are normally considered break glass accounts that are used for emergency purposes. They are persistent in nature, which means CyberArk PAM is the most appropriate solution for securing and managing them. The second group is the operational accounts, which are created to provide operational, administrative interactive access to authorized users, such as system administrators, DevOps engineers, or other privileged business users, such as application owners. Operational accounts don't need to exist 24-7. On the other hand, their existence creates a constant risk of breach, and this is where DPA comes into play. Instead of managing operational accounts, DPA allows you to remove standing privileged access while still providing users with isolated access to the relevant asset with the required permissions and for the required length of time. Let's take a closer look at the solution and see how it works. Meet John, the end user who needs to access a server or virtual machine in his hybrid data center. John can initiate an MFA-secured VPN-less connection request from anywhere in the world using their preferred SSH or RDP client. The request is sent to the CyberArk-hosted DPA service, which can authenticate the user with any directory service or identity provider, as well as CyberArk's built-in directory service and MFA. Once John is authenticated, DPA makes sure that John is eligible to access the target server using attribute-based access control policies, which define both the available platform resources and the level of privileges allowed to the end user. Once the authorization stage is complete, DPA creates an ephemeral access for John on the target. Then, a lightweight connector within the organization's data center tunnels the SSH or RDP session to the target machine through an outbound secured reverse tunnel to the DPA service. Now John has an isolated and secure session on the target for the duration specified in the access policy and all his activities are monitored and recorded for auditing purposes. 
When a session ends, either by John or by DPA due to John's inactivity or policy restrictions, his access will be deprovisioned to prevent standing access. As you can see, DPA provides you with a range of benefits that can help your organization to strengthen security and improve operational efficiencies. Privileged access granted just in time significantly reduces the risk caused by standing access to your organizational environments. Attribute-based policies make it easy to define who can access organizational assets based on departmental and functional needs. Remote VPNless and isolated zero trust access allow end users to connect to remote private networks without direct inbound connectivity. The service allows end users to connect with your organization's existing authentication methods in a native, browserless fashion. Another major benefit of DPA is that it is an agentless solution with minimal footprint that can be easily deployed. You just need to follow three simple steps. Establish trust with your environment. Connect to your resources. And define access policies. In the next modules, we will cover all these steps in detail. Thank you for watching and see you soon.